Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fair Play Racing League. Here tonight for round 12 of the championship. Here we are at Monza. Now, I've already done this intro once and I realised Twitch didn't start streaming. So, bear with me. Uh, I am commentator tonight. I am, of course, David Lollface bringing you the Division 1 action tonight. We got the first guy out on his hot lap tonight. That is OMT Stoffy, member of the Dutch Mafia. So, as he's going around this uh, sector two, the uh, the Lesmos here, just before the DRS straight. Um, how is everyone in the chat? I say everyone in the chat. It looks like it might just be you, Bannerman. So good evening. Looks like Stoffy a little bit tentative there, but at the moment only 15 drivers, so no need to risk it too much in Q1. Is Nightbot uh, punishing you again? got a power trip man don't know what that's about Stoffy goes fastest with a 122.3 quickly beaten by Joshua half a second quicker and then beaten again by Twins who is two temps up so like every, everyone's going out at the moment uh, we also have Dino putting in a 123.3 on the medium tyres Across the line will be Gronzy, 123.4 on the mediums. And after him, a Klutch Jack, who puts himself up into second. Lovely jubbly. Uh, Hirsch coming up to the line now. Will he go fastest? Yes, he does. A, a 121 flat. It's, a, it's definitely a good lap from, I believe, the championship leader. Um, you have to bear with me while I double check that. Oh, oh, we've, we've had a retirement. Fardo has binned it at Ascari. Oh, dear. That is uh, not good news for him. His car has disappeared. So yeah, more than likely on the second part of the chicane, I would imagine. So we start to see drivers now retiring a bit early. They can. I would say no one's going out in this session, but uh, unfortunately Fardo's kind of proved us wrong as he seems to have taken a liking to the wall on the exit of Ascari. Thank you, Dino. That's very, very kind of you. Favourite commentator? Let's be honest, you don't watch many, do you? <laughs> okay, is anyone on a hot lap right now? So her should be coming in. There is the Ferrari of AG Passi in first doing a sub 121 it's a good effort from him will he go again nope he comes in I don't know if you knew but ooh, full rainy race that is that is shocking that would explain that would explain the people using the mediums here in, in uh, <coughs> Q1. Sorry, Sergeant. Yeah, I do. I do quite often like to know the the weather. Um, obviously, spoiler alerts. It gone rain. 
but nevertheless we go anyway at the moment dry quality although it's a little bit cloudy but we will see probably don't expect there to be rain for quality but away we go looks like hush look like he might have had a little bit of a moment of a scary there falls over quite nicely that object fungus free He comes into the last corner of Parabolica. Got to be careful not to go wide here on the exit. Goes P7 with a 122.1. I'll hold you to that, Dino. Dino, letting everyone know who's going to win. Um, I don't know. I don't want to put my name to, to someone in Q1. It's a bit too early in the stream for a, uh, a bit too early in the stream for a little hit of the commentator's curse. I'm gonna ride by Ali Ferrari on his hot lap. Down the start finish straight, nearly hitting a top of uh, 205 miles an hour there looks to have navigated those first corners very nicely though to be fair he's not using his ERS so he is just going to come out and come back set a lap and come straight back in I'd imagine so um <laughs> Yep, yeah, it is what it is. Anyone else staying out? That monkey boy, Kurt. Could be on a lap, could be just coming back round. Of course, if you are watching this and you think these guys don't look great. I could go faster than them. Well, I'll tell you what. If you just hop into our chat, there's a lovely little link to our recruitment Discord. Oh, it looks like AG Passy's lost it. Between turns... Uh, I don't know. Just before the Lesmos. Took too much grass and he's... Yep, okay. That's all she wrote. Or AG Passy was sitting on the original pole, but as you see coming out of this corner, but too much grass apparently, and looks like he uh, bins it in a wall. As uh, Sergeant points out, I believe that is something that Charlotte Clerk did. I do vaguely remember. Let's just hope for no dramatics. Quite quite like what we saw with uh, Hamilton and Verstappen in what's the real life race. Where let's just say uh, Max's Red Bull got very over familiar with Lewis's Mercedes. Between turn one and two, Sally Ferrari casually puts in a 140, uh, 120.493, just shy of the 120.5 mark. Of course, wasn't. Oh, uh, well, no. Yeah, it was a good half a second faster than AG Passy, who was in the lead. Now, running off, you know we don't have a tier zero. If we had a tier zero, we'd. Well, let's be honest. We wouldn't put many people in a tier zero. This uh, this division, of course, tends to be awfully close. 
We've had a wide range of winners this year. We've seen some fast people join a little bit late on, which has really thrown a spanner in the works as well. So as we wait for the last few to come in, will be Stoffy and soon after Ali Ferrari just coming down the back straight now. Let's have a quick look through the current uh, championship. So top 10 are oh, for the moment. Uh, Dino, Dino in 10th place. Um, it's with 48 points. Reckons himself a winner tonight. So I'll look forward to that. Uh, 13 he is that's on 48 points 13 behind uh, points behind Fardo in uh, ninth place in the Alfa Romeo technically joint on points with monkey boy Kurt who I believe has had a better finish than him this year so both drivers in eighth and ninth on equal points on 61 front of him in 7th is the other Williams of Shots to Drippy. 64 points, so 3 point gap there. It is awfully, awfully close in this uh, lower end of the top 10. Or mid, middle of the top 10 I should say rather. So 6th place and 5th place we, well, both on 66 points. OMT Stoffy himself in the Alpha other Alpha Romeo on 66 alongside RBT in the McLaren rapid guy unfortunately has a qualifying ban this week after an incident um, I'm not sure if he's joining us a bit late or whether he's racing at all I am not entirely sure but there he is fifth place in the McLaren with 66 so fourth place is Object Fungus is uh, in the Aston Martin, I should say. He is joint on points with third place Ali Ferrari in the Mercedes. They are both on 92. Slow down. <laughs> You'll be saying that tomorrow night as well as I go zoom in past your sergeant. Or not? Oh, oh! Is that rain? Do I see rain at the start of Q2? Could there be a chance someone is gonna have to go for it? It looks like one of the Aston Martins is. Well, no, that is the Alpha Tauri of Dino. It's only 12 people. Yeah. Q2 tonight after a couple of uh, new incidents in Q1. Unfortunate. So we should see most of them go out, I'd have thought. Very quickly, make sure they get in the top 10 while the circuit is still dry enough for these soft tyres. Let me just shove on the tire in the detail just to make sure what people are thinking last one out of the pits actually looks like it's object fungus could he regret that decision of waiting so long we will find out so as the drivers complete the rest of their outlap uh, I will speak to you of the top two in the championship so off in front of Ali Ferrari on 92 is OMT Klutschak had a great start to the season unfortunately crashing out last week at his home Grand Prix in the Alpine the leading Alpine driver at the moment his teammate twins currently only in P13 and winning the <laughs> winning the league by an old, a whole 18 points is Hirsch on 125 so and he is of course in the house that will be 
the furthest up the table you'll see a horse this season. Of course, we are running um, equal cars. It would be incredibly unfair to Hirsch, although to be fair. Oh, you see Dino going for a nice little jump over over uh, turn four. I think that is. Um, could he have damaged his floor there? Never know. So closely behind him is the Williams, I believe. It sh shots. Forty. Dean looks like he is struggling. Was that an invalidation? It wasn't apparently. Looks like Hirsch has invalidated. As has Joshua. So, will this be fast enough? Coming to the line, Dean goes first, but obviously shots to Drippy with the slipstream. Going faster. Took uh, nine tenths out of him that lap, and they are coming through now. So at the moment, Ali Ferrari putting it on in the lead provisional pole. Doing well to get out of the way coming into turn one. His teammate Gronzi putting in a 122.8 near enough. Not a bad show at the moment. It could prove to be costly for Hirsch who has invalidated his first lap. It looks like Joshua also so yellows that's just for cars getting out of the way I think and what can Hirsch do needs to put a decent lap in to get through to Q3 here but the rain is coming down more and more he's got to keep it on the circuit DRS is still enabled at this moment so hopefully with a little bit of luck on his side he is avoiding those curves like the play so it looks like Fardo 17 has left the session we will just follow Hirsch on his way up to the line as Joshua went over into four what can Hirsch do Hirsch puts himself in six so at the moment that is put Dino in a perilous situation he could indeed go out Poly apologies for that ladies and gentlemen uh, I've just been joined by my co-commentator commentator for the night it's Fry Guy Clips he didn't take long to get that little plug in yep <laughs> Ch tune in yep um, I'm not going to disagree with that actually I will <laughs> you're not that bad indeed he do ok yep so we've had a tough start to qualifying here I don't think I'm trying you've to get been in. able you to me? keep up the stream so currently the rain has started in Q2 um, you're offline I can't join off you ah uh, let, you don't have let to go me off offline just invite you yeah but so you don't have to like get offline you just gotta send me an invite find you first yes there he is invite to game yeah I forgot about that <laughs> yeah I was just like 
Qualifying's uh, gone to a horrible this, start. I wonder how. <laughs> oh, by the yeah, way, I'm a uh, streamer. You today. Include, include I really don't audio, feel mate. good. So, y'all can just listen to me through that stream. By the yeah, way, you included it's your audio. Yeah. It is should be included. It should. It is. It is indeed. Hear my very running off, you liar. Perfect voice. Yeah. But it's as gonna, a, it's gonna be a good one next week. Very busy I can day feel today. The painting, uh, plastic things for schools and uh, cars. Oh, lovely. Yes, y'all get. Uh, I have to breathe in chemicals when I go to paint your cars. I breathe in liquid cancer every day. Brilliant. Yes. I'll probably be dead by my 40s, but we don't talk about it. We like to keep no, things positive. Workplace insurance. On What's fair, that? Play, fair, fair Play Racing League. By the so way. It's, it is still raining. No one's out on the inters, though. I'm confused um, here. I mean, this I'm, leaderboard looks a, very different than I thought it would look like. Yeah. yeah, so there's there's a couple couple of drivers that are invalidated. I can see uh, that the first lap. That's Joshua well, and Hirsch. I would say the only person in potential to get a good lap time is Kloop, Jack, or any outlappers like Hirsch or Groundsy, because I'm pretty sure if the rain keeps going the way it is, the track won't be able to keep that grip, especially on soft compound on Italy. Lighting up those rear tires off the corners in wet conditions with like, slick tires is not the best feeling. As you just see a big wiggle out of that glorious looking Red Bull scheme of Joshua Meister. Oh, he just hit the wall, I think. I don't even know. Game's freaking out, mine. Game's that... freaking out? Well, that's strange. Yes. Because this game is perfect. Oh, no don't even get me started on NASCAR Ignition. <laughs> I watched the early gameplay where we're a week away from launch and we don't talk about it. <laughs> I, I was it's just... always nice when a game reveal goes badly. <laughs> yes, and I was just like, you know, maybe they'll fix the bugs. Oh wait, they hired ex Codemasters employees. Good luck with that one. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even fix their bugs. So I don't even... I don't know. I feel like this game, honestly, would be a lot different if they did go to next gen with this game. I feel like this game is also kind of a stopgap as well. You'll see major changes probably in the next F1 game relating to damage model and some sort. Or physics. Yeah. And you can't really add anything else for single player, can you? Challenges, maybe. Yeah, well, the old... One of the good things about the old... F1, I say old F1 games. I mean, I think it was from 2013 or 14. I think it was 13. Um, they had scenario mode, which was really quite fun. Okay, it didn't take that long, but it was a nice little challenge. You know, a reason for you to try actually drive the normal cars. Yeah. That's cool. I, I agree with you on that one. That's pretty cool. By the way, the track seems to be too wet for these guys now. Like, these guys are looking like yeah. they have no grips. I'm surprised DRS is still active. Yeah, but, you say that. Hirsch is 2.4 <laughs> temps up coming through Ascari. The thing is, this corner is kind of... It's slightly banked, but it's not banked enough where... Like, if he slides it through here, he's screwed. He lose all that yeah, straightaway keep... momentum. Oh, keep it low. He's drifting a little bit. He got it. He's got it. A shot is around. Shots uh, is around and out. Hirsch goes fourth. What? What did? Did he just retire in the pit lane? Oh yeah, these guys have no consequences. Are we just all oh, yeah. in Q2? Because we have um, a very. We did. We did have Q1. Ooh, um. Beautiful. I just watched uh, Hershey's going through uh, <laughs> the runoff in the first turn, and someone already destroyed it. <laughs> yeah. It's so infamously impossible to get through there. Yeah, like, I, they, I don't know why they made it impossible. You'd think, because on this game, you know, like, on Italy in this game, it's genuinely hard sometimes on that first lap. 
And hey, you're gonna miss the corner here, man. People make mistakes. But if you make it so difficult where the car doesn't even fit through there, you have to drift it like a Tokyo drift car to get through there. Like, what the hell? Like, what are you gonna do? If you plow through it, you're gonna get a penalty. If you just sit there, you're gonna get DQ. You can't just turn around to get DQ either way. Yep. I personally so, thought. Dino. Oh. I know. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Preacher Chong. Go for it, mate. Is that also I think just. He's safe. He probably is there in second. I feel like anybody that did those, like 21, 22s, is pretty much safe. The track conditions aren't going to get anywhere near good enough for them to run those laps anymore, probably. So, pretty much what you see now is pretty much what you're going to keep. I mean, I doubt anybody will improve. I mean, Hirsch was probably the last guy that had a probably good lap going. Let's look at. Yep. Let's look at the cursable man that is Alti Dean. We all know what happened last week. Then qualifying. Will David do it again? I'm not mentioning names. He is currently on his last set of softs. Uh, Blows tired. Yep. Yeah, uh, I have been informed it's going to be a fully wet race. So. Uh, on Italy? Probably. Yep. Yeah, oh, it's going to be a shit show. Probably Inter's in. Okay, Q3 let's get this out of the way well. real quick. This might be a lot like Zanfort last week in the way of racing. If you do not like that type of racing, you might want to tune out later on. But for keeping interest for qualifying, because this is uh, going to get to ugly. be fair. This is going to get ugly. To be fair, tier two at Zanfort last week was brilliant. Well, did it rain? <laughs> a really good race, if I do say so myself. Well, the thing is, really the tier one guys, I feel like are more guinea pigs than tier two guys. Like the tier two guys watch the tier one guys and say, "Okay, don't do that." <laughs> but what not to do? <laughs> it's basically a what. Not what do you mean to do. you don't want to? You don't want to cause an eight-car pile-up going through. That's why I always thought tier two should line. always go first, at least in my opinion. But the unex. Oh, yeah. the Oh, Dino! Off goes oh, the wheel. Through goes the, the rear barrier, tires. he goes. That was softs are no longer the softs are no longer the compound to go to. It seems like. Well, to be to be fair, he's not the first person to lose it on the exit of Ascari. Did he hit the curb? I wasn't paying attention. Did he just throttle it too early? I believe he might have caught it on the inside curb. Yeah, common mistake, but all the pros make it. Yeah. As, as so so do all the amateurs as well. Yes. That's me. <laughs> oh! What? Stoffy to the moon goes it. Stoffy. Those lovely there goes the curves that have been put in the game. There goes the under tray. I mean, yeah, what under yep. tray? <laughs> what under tray? <laughs> <laughs> is, is he now Fred Flintstoning? <laughs> floor. Just keep an eye out, see if you can see. We'll see the if the feet floor drops out, out on there. there. Straight away, if you can. It'd be funny if that's actually damage. I'll just let's see the floor. You're behind someone, like getting the toe off, and just cut it completely. Uh, it didn't matter anyway. But uh, did you see the whole floor drop out from under it, like the McLaren did? I think it was. But, I right. can't remember. But that was fun. Maybe next season. <laughs> just imagine yeah, that. Maybe if you're next behind season, someone, maybe. getting like a toe or a draft, depending on what country you're from. Oh yeah, yeah. that last time was. Definitely not. It's wet. It is wet. Stuffy comes in. He I can't think he go sped. faster. Did he speed? Yeah. It quite possibly getting himself a lovely little warning. Of course, it is only a warning in qualifying. Oh, it is. I thought it was a grid penalty in qualifying. It should be, in my opinion. <laughs> Although maybe it's a little bit harsh. Like if if you're like me, I I I don't practice the pittings. Until yeah, the, like, uh, it's qualifying. pretty much. I mean, the thing is, you practice the pit entry nine out of ten times in dry conditions. So you're like, or Absolutely, without wing yeah. damage. So like your car with wing damage or wet or really bad both, like your car's not gonna stop. Like that downforce just goes away. That's why F1 yeah. races are so good in the rain though, because it pretty much throws a fucking. Or, excuse my language. Sorry. Or, excuse my. You can. Berate me on that one. It's been a tough day. Yeah. I'm covered in paint. I have to commentate. I'm committing to this. But... To the cause. To the cause. And this is my... 
Oh, I'm doing a double. I'm going a double day or a double day next week because I'm going to be calming Thursday, and I'm going to be racing Friday. Oh God. But yeah, we so only got you twelve guys. guys that can't get enough what, of what Fry happened guy. there? <laughs> what happened where? Sorry. Like we only have twelve guys. <laughs> like. Yeah, we had a few crash out in uh, qualifying one. A little bit low on the turnout this week. Uh, I believe we had Fardo 14 has or 15. Yep, Fardo's just he uh, came, started racing back in. Him. He crashed in Q1. A lot of see these Q. Some of these Q1 guys are really underrated. I feel like not Q1, a tier one. I don't know why I say Q1. Yep. So also going out in Q1 was. AG, Passy, and I can't remember the third. I th was it Twins? I have no idea, but uh, I think this is an accurate leaderboard. Uh, the guys that are really good in the wet, like Groundsy, Ali Ferrari, the, all those yep, guys... Yeah, Ali Ferrari, wasting no time. They're going to have a hell of a race today, unless they get taken out. Not on purpose, just... Yeah. Ooh, the both Mercedes... Oh. Coming out. coming out. Unsafe release there from the Aston Martin team. Disgraceful. He's the, all three Mercs there. Is the for sure <laughs> Aston's just the Merc. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not 2020 anymore. You, <laughs> you can't get away with that one. Uh, to be honest, you could honestly call McLaren in a couple years probably a Merc refit too. Yep. It depends how the, their next gen version of their car is. They're already going too wide. They're really excited. But by the way, this is going to be the best time for them to set laps. I believe they're on softs at the moment, so they got to set yep. this lap right away. Otherwise, they'll end up like all in the Absolutely. Room. And quite frankly, no one wants to be in the wall out of the scar. Very tough you corner. Very much see it happening. As I'm going to go on board here with twins, tailing monkey board, because I want to see how bad it is. The dirty air is. I don't think it'll be much because rain, number one. Uh, yep. How do they still have DRS? I don't know. It's, it's coming down, but it's not coming down very much. As uh, Yep, Sergeant points out that is a de uh, disqualification for Ali Ferrari because he's not wearing a helmet. How's he alive <laughs> is my question. This game is perfect and has no bugs. To be honest, it's not the worst thing. He could have had no drivers, so he'd just be driving in skivvies. <laughs> yep, very true. So, Object Fungus gets us on the way with a hot lap in Q3. You honestly could dive hyperthermia, technically. If you're driving an F1 car, probably, at that speed, with no driver suit on. I mean, you'd be blind, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, at least with a helmet on. We'll give, we'll give the driver a helmet, yeah. at least. Oh, give him a helmet. Yeah, that's fair enough. So we can see. It's like the Merc drivers might be getting in each other's way there. They're all getting each other's ways as Twins fucks up. Excuse my language again. Screws up the. <laughs> first it's occasion. fucking atrocious, your language. <laughs> hey. I had, a, I had a rough day. Like I said earlier, painting. Being on a deadline while painting is not something you like when painting cars and plastic. As Twins botches the whole shit. I don't know what chicane that is, but the second chicane. I hate Turns quarter names. Four and five. I'm really bad at quarter names unless I'm English. Nick? I I don't know all the corner names here. I know I know a few. I forgot the one that's on the la the last one. I think I already Parabolum? No. The no, no. Uh, the very last corner is Parabolica. Parabolica, I called it Parabellum like a damn mushroom. <laughs> yeah, close enough. Yeah, my bad. As yeah. Ali Ferrari taking a weird line through there, which I thought he took. He took a very low approach out of there, which can work very well. But I took a low. Line. Ali Ferrari sets a 124.6 to go provisional yeah. pole. Personally, see him coming through. from my experience from NASCAR games, at least I don't know if their engines work the same similarly, you get that runoff the, the more straight a line you take instead of turning. So, like, bending up the outside yep. through the exit of that little parabolica would probably give him an extra two tenths, maybe? Because that momentum, Could that straight away. Possibly, yeah. That's all it's about. 
you don't want to screw up these slow corners because straightaway speed. It's all about straightaway speed. Unless they were in the rain, then these guys are screwed. These are going to have low drag sets, like no downforce on these cars. And they can't switch, I don't believe, David, right? Because they're in qualifying three. Um, they can switch them, but... They can change the tire pressures and the brakes. That's about it, can't they? Yeah, uh, the front wing. Front wing angle. Not the rear wing, just the front wing. To be honest, they're going to want probably some more rear wing. Because I'm assuming these guys are like running like zero rear wing. That's probably one of the faster ways around here. As we're going to go on yeah. board with Ollie Ferrari. Oh, someone just burnt through a fucking... Or... I'm not going to talk for a little bit. Who blew through That's fine. the first turn chicane? Or a chicane in general. I saw things go flying in the air. Those like cardboard pieces. Like si or like silicone. Um, apparently, I've read some people have posted in the chat that it's no longer called Parabolica. I'm just doing a little bit of research, trying to find. Why do they what rename it's it now? Then. What's the name then? Like I have no idea. Why would you change the name of a but corner? I, I, to be honest, I don't really care what it's called. I know. I'm just saying. Like, it's I'm going to call it corner. Parabolica anyway. Yeah. Let's just <laughs> piss off the fans. Woohoo! Like. Most I can see is Curva Palabolica. How about this? Of course, we'll similar call it, to Turn 3, we'll which is Curva Grande. I think a turn's good enough on it. Oh, and Twins bins it. Twins bins. No caution somehow, but he almost slapped the wall pretty good. As ground, he's really pushing everything he can out of this car. Revs out six gear onto the straightaway. Potentially very good lap from him. It just went from 0 to 10 there, but I think this la yeah, I'm looking, like, these guys have no grip. It looks like they're barely making, it. Oh, it's gonna be tight. he's gonna lose a lot of momentum. As he goes into As the pits full into speed. Pits. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Apparently, apparently Parabolica is now called Curva Alboreto. Let's just call it Parabolica anyway. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna call it Parabolica. Yeah, they can't uh, make the final turn anymore. you guys can do about it. Yeah. Can't get us fired, can they? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really too reassuring. <laughs> I mean, to, to get fired, you kind of have to be employed. You get I a guess, fair point. I We're guess not they paid. Could, uh... Yeah, we're not paid. <laughs> we're not paid athletes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Athlete, oh god, you're funny. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot of balls to commentate. Those guys travel around the world just to watch a circus. Indeed. So uh, don't make fun of commentators, ladies and gentlemen. They go through a lot of shit. Like, Absolutely. Especially the F1 commentators. Some, some For some reason, I feel like they're pretty good for the most part. Yeah, they get they'll, a lot of they'll never be as good as... Uh... They, oh, Murray Walker. They will but... never be as good, but I would say they're probably one of the better ones we got. What they really need is, like, they need to put, like, David Coulthard in, like, keep him in the booth. He's good because he doesn't take no one's shit, and he actually states the facts. You need that yeah. in a commentator. And you don't have to see his face, either. Yeah, just that. that chin. The chin represents a lot of things there. I feel like it represents his career. It's, it's not smooth. But it's not cur it's not perfect. Perfect, like David Coulthard is the or David Coulthard is the epitome of average, I would say. I don't know. How many? Did yeah, he, looks he like DRS runs, right? just got disabled. By the way, yeah. David Coulthard just got a couple as preaching. Right? Who's that? Sorry, David Coulthard. He got a couple of race wins, right? Oh yeah, he he he, he had a few to his name. Ooh, no doubt. Car round uh, shot. Oh, that's a bad spot to spin. Yup, he's. Oh, that's a big wreck. Hopefully, everybody gets out of the way. It's a terrible spot. It's at a blind corner on exit. Stoff and Hirsch is going to go through here. Really bad spot for him to wreck. Shots did everything he could yeah. to save it, but the rain does Alas. not forgive. And neither does the wall, apparently. Yo, those, those tire walls meant to cushion impact. I feel like they make it worse in this game. 
Or maybe DRS. Oh, he really the team. He's Joshua. not even going there. He was trying to keep the heat in the tyres, and he sort of just... David, uh, I think the they move. might have to go on... Is it? Did they say it was heavy rain or entry rain for the race? Because, like, the rain's picking up pretty good now. I'm, I'm not sure. There's drop and spray. That's how much their water is. So, yeah, they're all coming to the pits, probably, if yeah. they don't die on uh, the way. That will be it. As we have a McLaren and... Ooh, heavy rain. Possibly for the race. Oh Interesting. That's gonna be terrible. <laughs> okay, well, we'll pull through here at Fair Play Racing League and we will commentate the best race to ever exist Monza in the heavy wets. Yep. You need those so, stud tires. <laughs> Imagine how fast that shit wears. Interesting. Like, I don't get how F1 expected that to work. Like stud tires, like they're F1 cars, not a fucking like Hummers. <laughs> like they're going over like 180 mile an hour into these corners. Studs ain't gonna work. If anything, you're gonna lose grip because of the studs because it, it's not snow or dirt, it's asphalt or pavement, depending where you're from. Yeah, I don't know whose idea that was. Is it? You get what I mean? If anything, you're gonna have less grip because it's not gonna like the whole point of a stud is to dig into the ground. Like you, I mean. So you're causing damage to the race circuit that you that are paying you to show up there, and they don't even provide rubber to the track properly. And the one track they need Whoa. to implement it for, it never the issue didn't happen this year, where they had little to no grip. They still had a lot of grip issues, but it wasn't as bad as last year, I would say. Was it? Was it Portugal, Portimouth? They had the issue, or was it Turkey? Or was it both? The Interslicks? Can't remember. Uh, this year or last year, you mean? Last year. It was really bad last year. Like, the one the Interslick meme just I know, came out. I know uh, Turkey was, was bad last year. Uh, of course, we had... I believe we had Lance Stroll starting in pole position. Oh, that's already last pretty year. questionable. It's not like I don't like the guy, it's just I don't like how the way he got his ride. I don't know. Yeah, it's like, unfortunate, but... He's not, know, a, he's not uh, a bad guy, like, he's actually quite likable. Like, he's not an ass. The, the thing is, unlike most pay drivers, of course we, we've had plenty in the sport, he, he actually does seem a semi... Like, he's, he has he's not the anywhere talent. near the worst. He He's has not talent. the worst pay driver ever. He, he, even the Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, somebody. In my I mean, throat. he got a race one at least. <laughs> yeah, but I don't uh, know. To be honest, I, I could I'm, point out I'm, a worse pay driver. Probably. I mean, you could probably point out a worse pay driver. The Japanese I mean, come to mind, except Sonoda. Sonoda's like the only good Japanese driver I think you guys had in a while. Uh, K K Kamui was good. Kamui Kobayashi was a good driver. Yeah, actually, he's a very good endurance driver as well. I, yeah, he's very good. Yeah. He's under... I don't, like, I don't know. For some reason, no offense to any F1 fans watching, but apparently to some F1 fans, if you can't drive an open-wheel car, therefore you have no talent and shall be sent to the gulag. Yeah, that sounds about right. And I've never heard such hypocrisy. First of all, open-wheel is very expensive to get into. Like... Formula, some people, I mean, everybody should understand this, but Formula is a very expensive sport to get into. It's not like it so, it's not absolutely. like you pick up a car from someone's garage and start racing, like it is here in the U.S. Oh, someone wrecked. It was a Mercedes. I think it's got to be Groundsy. He just got there. crashed by Joshua's AI. What? Oh, time, or Session's out. Grounds, he's only yep. on track and he spun. By the way, when will they ever give the Merc a good-looking paint job that isn't, like, reused like Red Bull? Like, Red Bull has the same issue. They use... Like, they're, they're, they're the silver arrows. They're Make not them silver, silver That and also, like, give us maybe, like... Like, Merc had this issue with black cars. Like, they had overheating issues. And their drivers, yeah. like Hamilton and Bottas, even complain like the, with the black overalls, or coveralls, wherever you want yeah. to call it, wherever you're from. 
Like, yeah, I they that. absorbed heat. Like, black does, like, I work in a black uniform for auto body and auto collision. That shit sucks. Like, it's... Absolutely. Especially in the yeah. dead heat. In the winter, it's not too bad. You're either, like, you're either freezing or you're sweating. There's no in-between. Personally, because I'm used to freezing, I'm fine with it, because I live in Pennsylvania. I don't know if a lot of you know what that is. I don't know. The state. The state here in the U.S. I'm good. It's not that good of a state anymore. <laughs> We're not going to get political. I We're mean, where is? Political. Yeah, we got <laughs> I got to mutter that to myself every time we state. bring up something. It is a very big state. It's not the biggest. It's like it's actually not one of the bigger states. But it is a very vastly big state. In the way. Absolutely. Yep. Um, so, that's the end of Key 3. Uh, a little yes. bit anticlimactic. Yes, uh, as Ali Ferrari on the pole. Merc and Preacher Charm with the second place. Way to go. In front of Hirsch in I third. I was talking all sorts of shit about him too a few weeks ago. He's, he's rising to the occasion here in wet weather driving. Absolutely. Why can't every time so I talk shit about a, a driver, they do well, except twins for some reason. <laughs> and we know what happens when I talk about drivers. <laughs> yeah, Dean is a good example. <laughs> I still yeah. have that clip saved on my phone. I couldn't make that video, by the way. Sorry, uh, YouTube decided to. How do I put this? Not let me post videos for a while. Well, lovely. I posted a clip the rain of me is racing, really coming, and it got copyright claimed, even though it's an original video. That I made oh, myself. Someone readied up. <laughs> oh, who done goofed up? Quickly. Who oh, goofed we'll up? Be oh, by the way, it looks like heavy rain. Who goofed? As they go on their outlap here, testing the terrain, they are on the full wet compound. It looks like the rain is not going to get any better either. As let's look, all their tires seem to be the wet compound. We have the full track map up, telemetry data. This is going to be a very tricky race. As the leaders have collided, or I, I believe at least, and got disqualified from the formation lap. As Hirsch now is leading them through turn three. Going into four and five here. Someone just completely cut the corner. Probably going to get DQ. Yeah. Looks like uh, Monkey Boy couldn't quite get it turned, uh, slowed down in time. As also, this track seems very unraceable, but we'll race anyway because we have the balls to show y'all some good content. We are not like Let other. Let me know when it happens. Yeah, uh, turn one's gonna be a mess. I'm pretty sure it they is own absolutely this. in the wet. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're joining they us a little too. bit late with RBT. Sorry. It's uh, okay. He's always welcome, man. I mean, except yeah, the whole. He... Of course, him taking a served a quali ban. Like, well, we don't talk about it. He served a quali ban that week, uh, this week, so that's why he joined in late. Has but he could just retire for the race. I mean, through, he could just join Q3 and just retire and just sit through it. But I mean, that works too. Ah, you can get an extra point in. <laughs> you have a fair point. Instead Boy, of... Jack Den is a fireball. Speaking of which, <laughs> as AG, Passi and Fardo me. managed to get themselves disqualified. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, so, tonight's bevy of choice is... Jack Daniels and Cherry Pepsi Max. That's new. I've heard that one before. By the way, uh, how is this start going to work? Because they're going to have no rear grip. Look, at uh, Preacher Chom has a really bad starting position. If you go to his cam, he's starting right in a puddle. Like... <laughs> yeah. I don't think this game is that in depth for it to know Even where there's I'm, a puddle. I mean, plastic cars can do it. Why can't they? 
I mean, even, even um, the original, if the original project, even Forza can do, it. can do it. Yeah, but it's not that right. good. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go on the leader's point perspective on the broadcast view just to see the carnage unfold. Drive through oh, penalty crazy. for a jump start. Groundsy two ago. I think we have two jump starts. So Unfortunately, hits they're already the back three wide. Of they're the four wide. Five wide. This isn't gonna oh, work. Oh God. Here we go. Four wide. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. It is. It was. It was not bad. As we have a car loose it, almost into the grass. Uh, I must spectate so Dean. The front. Real quick. Hirsch has got himself a brilliant lead. If well, not the fact he had he a five-second penalty. Well, I see. It's not. I feel like that penalty is not deserved because he had to go wide of those. He's going to get to the in spawn. So I, I think he should get that one up. He'll definitely. They're going to go three wide into this turn six. Oh, two, oh he hits the Ferrari. Alto he hits the Ferrari. Forcing him wide, doesn't get to run off. Looks like he's got slight damage, not sure. Goes under the Ferrari, nice, but oh, he almost spins it. Nice driving here. As he's side by side, but I believe a Red Bull. Yes, there is. As he's dropping all these positions. David, can we confirm if Dino has damage? As Let's the two Red he Bulls are fighting, not fighting Red with RBT. This isn't smart. He's your technical Ooh, teammate. Great race! Oh, a little bit of over snap of over steer there from Dino. You don't want to be hitting RBT each other. RBT manages He's in the to catch it there. Three wide. wide. Going into Parabolica. Oh, Come at me! Oh, it's a touch of the rear. Are you I'm not quite too sure. Oh, there's a car around. There's a car round. Who was it? It was He's been. He's done three times. He's been did three times in a row off the race start. And he's got to drive all the way back around to get his damage fixed. Into turn one, lap two. There's a sausage curb for Preacher. Oh, they're too wide. Oh, on, yes, I believe it's twins. Yes. Oh, there's contact further back. It's like the twins went off track a little. What do you mean? He was just exploring. Was, oh, uh, right. lock up! Huge lock up by Posse. Might have burnt out that left front. If that's even a feature in this game. A little love tap there from Dino on the back of Fardo. Well, love tap. Don't judge it. As ground and Posse have a train and shots. Joshua, they have a huge train going here from like fifth back. Look at that train. Look how big the train is. It is. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a good one. As Hirsch Whoa. is just running away. As Monkey Boy he is after Ali all that Ferrari. speed that Ali Ferrari had. He had a poor start. Ali Ferrari oh, a little has a little snap bit. of oversteer there from these Ramsey. guys. I have to give them credit. They learned their lesson from Zandford. Oh, they're going oh. two wide to Bar Parabolica. Oh, they make contact. Oh, the, the inside. inside. AG Passy has slipped out the inside. Come on, you get got past. it. Keep pushing. Oh, big crash, big crash. Dino is out. Big crash coming uh, through Parabolica. You can go on the perspective yeah, direct. Let's see the carnage. Is that a safety car? It is. Sector 3 caution. Oh, he hit a piece of debris. Yep. Uh, Dean, what happened? Clutch Jack comes in. The pits. That's not a safety. As does uh, RBT and Preacher Chom. Front wing changes for oh, them. Oh, by the way, Groundy did not serve it. Or he's got a drive through for some reason. Virtual safety car he has been deployed. He had a jump start, did well, Groundy. No, it wasn't Groundy. Whoa! <laughs> Took too much curve there. It's safety car right now. He has to come in this lap or he's going to get a 10 second penalty, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. So oh, ooh, slam brakes locks up. These guys are really locking up today. Their brake biases must be really set on like very front forward today. Like 60 ish. These guys do not do well under virtual safety cars, it seems like. It does. Unless we see if anyone's gonna. Get a drive through. Get themselves a little drive through. 
Are they green? Because they're going like full throttle. No one. And they are green. They are away. Looks like Hirsch got a great start. He is currently 2.5 seconds up, although it is slightly closing as Ali Ooh, Ferrari Gramsie has made it past. Passai got, or Passe going pit road with Gramsci. He locks side it up. Side by side into turn one. That's some great racing there from the uh, the Williams and the uh, Mercedes. Jesus, I can't Aston talk. Martin object punk is looking for the scraps if they do wreck. It's way too early to be this yeah. aggressive. Grosie is one out. Grosie is out. He has retired, I believe. Grosie has pits. retired in the pits. Um, unfortunately, his car has come out after, but I don't think we can hold that against him. Well, he um, should. He should just pull over to the right. It's just hope. I don't think he's pulling over. Should pull over oh, at turn one. Oh, look at this run object Fungus has. Oh, never mind. He lost all the momentum. I think he let off. But he had some good momentum there first. These guys are going to go through a lot of fuel, though. Do you think there's going to be a fuel race at the end? Yeah. So, Gronzy has eventually pulled over. Bit strangely, um, just on the inside side of by side almost by Monkey Boy, current object fungus. He peeks on the outside, cuts under. He's gonna try and get the run off the corner if he can keep it straight. He's oh, he twitches. He might have lost all the momentum he had. Yeah. Monkey Boy, uh, they can afford to Monkey battle Boy. at this point because shots in fifth is eight and a half seconds back. Yes, yeah, Staffy is back there as well battling for top foot top five with another battle going for 10th further down mons on the rain everybody it's it's been relatively good apart it's calm. from uh, unfortunately yeah. dino Sacrifices had to be made, and sadly, Jesus wanted his name. I don't, I don't want to know if he celebrates or not celebrates, but practices Christianity or not. But uh, death was knocking. Very bad. Didn't he DNF last week, too? This is a very bad streak for him. Hirsch is another yeah. good example. Hirsch cannot DNF again, he cannot afford it. Neither can Coach yeah. Jack, which he already did. No, he didn't. He just spun. But Kluch Jack needs those points to catch up to Hirsch. So it's going to be a very interesting job to see if he can get salvaged this race. So, like, ooh. These guys are really cutting. Not cutting, but, like, really pushing their limits here. On these yep. wet tires. So Stoffy's got past shots on the lead up to um, Ascari there. But he looks like he's going to have another go into Parabolica. Oh, Stoffy trying to take it around the outside. It's just Josh not going to work in the rain. For the scraps. Oh, he loses all the momentum out of the corner from all wide. Ali Ferrari, quickest car in track, I believe, at the moment. Although he has lost one and a half seconds to Hirsch. So he must have made a mistake oh, somewhere. Oh, there's a stack up here in turn one. Shots checked up in, I think... I don't know. It didn't look like anybody took damage. It was a massive checkup. Into one. As Stoffy going for the move again. Probably into the chicane. He's got the run off the corner. Will he send it? No, he waits. Like no, thinks better of it. RBT going fastest of anyone. Now he probably is closing that gap back down to her. She's Wait, isn't now RBT down six tenths to usually? three? Yes, it happens sometimes where when you join late it doesn't let you pick your car it just gives you oh, any chance well, car we know to classify him as a McLaren for now on at least as like you said this has somehow been pretty pretty calm at the moment provisional leader is Ali Ferrari Also, oh, three seconds. Picks time. up a three second. Yes, it is Scarry.
as the field seems to start fanning out the only two battles at the moment between Stoffy and Shots, and they're even fanning out. This ring is just making these guys not be able to race very well today. Let's see if they're locked up going through the first turn. Like, look how much Shots checks out through here. Sergeant want, wants to know if you're speaking to a Pringles can fryer. <laughs> you do occasionally go a little bit muffly. I don't know whether it's well, it could all, I mean, your mic or whatever. My mic, it's a piece of shit, but it does its job. That's all that matters. Yep, that's fair enough. It also could be Twitch's in, we don't know. Is Twitch sometimes... No, I'm getting to... it too. You are? Okay. <laughs> Because that used yeah. to be a glitch where people, like, if you're co-streaming, the people's things would be fuzzy. I used to hate yeah. that fucking glitch because I have to, like, re-edit the streams and like, it's, just, it's just a pain in the ass. Don't ban me, Twitch, please. I'm criticizing the platform. The Twitch is perfectly balanced. <laughs> and has no bugs. It's better than YouTube, at least, <laughs> with the freaking uh, algorithm. I'm giving them that. YouTube's yeah. algorithm is like 30 second videos, and there's like no way you can thrive in any other channel. It's like 30 second videos, if I wanted to watch 30 second videos, I'd go be a 12 year old and fucking go on TikTok. Exactly. For fuck's sake. Like, my races never get recommended because it was like 2 hours long. So like, all my F1 stuff never gets recommended, neither does my NASCAR stuff, that's why I just go off of Twitch. That's why I originally planned post-race stuff. But it's just too much work, and I don't have the editing software to do it. Like, I would basically get a table, speak like an idiot for like, I don't know, 20 minutes. Yep. Highlight, review highlights and clips of the race or event. Okay, boy, Kurt, looking around the outside of shots. shots. That's here. a good move. Yeah. As oh, Stuffy goes wide. to the moon on the exit. Gets overtaken by Stoffy and Shots. With now, despite Josh the fact that Stoffy went looking to the his moon. Mirror. Not looking in his mirror, but looking for more. Yeah. We have a potential battle for last appearance soon. Yep. Uh, Joshua has caught back up. Preacher Chom. He's gaining on Clutch Jack at the moment. <laughs> Ali Ferrari slowly ticking down the timer, catching up to Hirsch. It's now back to. Keep uh, in mind, Ali Ferrari seconds. at the moment will be the leader when pit cycles go through because Hirsch has to sell that five second. Unless Ali well, I Ferrari don't begins. think they'll pit. I, th I think they're going to have to pit once, probably. Because a lot of these guys are locking up their tires really bad, so they might wear the tires. That, and they have to save fuel. So keep an eye on fuel for these cars. Oh yeah, we already have a guy low on fuel. Blitz Jack. Yeah. The danger sign. On, on his telemetry is uh, a yellow fuel sign when on the this, right. When you're this early into a Monza race and low on fuel, it's a very scary sign. So yep. he's going to have to really manage that for the next uh, 18 laps. He's got, he's got nothing really much to lose here besides to getting the 10th. See, this is the issue. He has to get the 10th at least because he can't let Hirsch run away with his championship lead. But he, I don't Absolutely think he not. has the fuel to push at the moment. Or he could wait for a safety car, which is very unlikely with this field really scattered like this. Oh, he's around! He saved it! Oh, he's going to get a lot of damage, though. Oh no, I thought the sign would have wrecked his wing as. Oh, wait. That's oh, not good. Oh. As he really cuts down on Preacher Chom. Preacher Chom is not going to be too happy about that. I wouldn't either. If someone cut my nose like that. But as Preacher Chom's in the dirt, but can't capitalize on his clues jack because he gets loose as well. As, well, as we have a good battle for si fifth appearing here. With Joshua Meister going for Monkey Boy. But as we go into the straightaway, they run away as also Stoffy catching back up the shots. Fungus also is not too far away from me. Seven, eight seconds, seven, eight or nine seconds away. 
As I believe you have a car. Yeah, there's a train going through turn one. The choo choo train has started. Choo choo. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. <laughs> you should clip that stream and uh, keep it there. Forever. Absolutely. Yep. It's going in the highlights reel. I can see it now. These guys are really dang running dangerously close to that left side exiting four and five. Like you never want to run that close to that gravel, especially in the rain. It's yep, I'm also seeing a lot of people get very aggressive with those curbs, and that you do not want to do that. I think these guys are getting really impatient because they can't do much around each other. The patience is going to be key here, but I don't know if they can hold it in for another. Is that debris? Yeah, there's debris here. Someone must have had an issue. See any yellows? Ali Ferrari now within one second of Hirsch. It's not he good. has closed that gap. As he will probably catch him going to probably four and five. Depends how Hirsch sets yep. up. These, I feel like Hirsch doesn't have the straightaway speed at, at the moment, but he has that like initial sprint speed, or like Ali Ferrari has that long run speed. So I would say Hirsch needs a safety car. I mean, everybody does. It seems like at this point. Yep. As shots just running away, these guys can't get with each other. It's almost like there's dirty air, but they can't be because it's rain. Josh uh, comes in the pits, puts a new set of wets on. I feel like it's too early for that, but I mean, it's his choice. They'll go. They'll go to the end. Yeah, but look at coming laps are left. Uh, it's not really. He's gonna lose all the advantage of those fresh wets. I mean, it's only 11 out of 27. I, I would imagine at this point the wets will probably have no more than 15% wear on them. Now we could see a maybe, ball's move later on if someone wants to switch to enters, which I highly doubt will happen. That, it could happen. I mean, it doesn't take a lot in this game to switch over to enters. You see, there's still quite a lot of puddles, but the racing line itself doesn't look too bad. Except in parabolic. Very true. And the front straightaway. Yeah, this game doesn't right. have no idea what a puddle is, apparently. At the front, Ali Ferrari really closing up to Hirsch. Doesn't look like he'll have the speed on the Ooh. start finish. Oh, that was very close. I think he had to check up a lot more than he anticipated. There for uh, Hirsch. Yeah, Hirsch definitely does not seem to have that grip. Entering maybe mid corner, you'd say? Yeah. That's the only thing keeping Hirsch where he is is that exit speed, that good exit launch he gets. Like right there, he gets super loose. Yeah, like something. I think maybe Hirsch used up all his tires already. Quite possibly. We don't know because we don't have that type of curb entry, but we're guessing pretty much off his current performance. We're not saying Inters yet, running off. Inters are definitely just not the option. At some point, it's not at the moment. It of is, course, is in no this spectator's view, we don't have the rain on the screen. I do. The same way the drivers do, and I'll tell you what, Ali Ferrari's screen must be horrendous at the moment. Two I'm, tenths off the back of I Hirsch. I thought we got their spray views on this on car mode. We don't. We used to get spray, like on the onboards. Remember? In, uh... Yeah, um, and for that I'm very thankful, actually, to be fair. It's one of the good things for the spectators in this year's well, game. It's actually, it was probably like that last season as well, uh, last year. Ali Ferrari doesn't look to have the pace in the straight well, line to get past Hirsch. Also, Hirsh he doesn't has need a pass ERS. That's another thing, though. He, he doesn't, but I think ideally you'd want to pass him just in case, because... Ali Ferrari doesn't know what Hirsch has well, got that five think seconds it, for. Think about this too. Ali Ferrari could be just judging Hirsch and see where Hirsch is the worst on the track. Just waiting, looking for an opportunity, yep. looking for somewhere to strike. You don't always go Absolutely. for a pass right away like there. We're not even halfway through the session. So he's got plenty of time. Oh, has he done it? He's done it. Yeah. We've missed it. Her, We're I, too I busy it. talking about it happening. And it's happened! Yeah, I said it happened too. 
Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah, what's it called? Uh, he's been doing that. Oh, oh it's a safety, safety car. car is out. For what? Preacher Chum. Looks like there's two cars around. Bendit coming out. Parabolica. What's the other car around? I think it's Clutch Jack. He's on pits. Uh, he's coming in the pits because, well, you might as well. Well, I think he was involved in the wreck because it's not two car. It's not. It's not one car wreck. Is it for your safety car? How? Oh my God! It's gonna be like five laps under safety, or could these guys get caught up? He's gonna have to catch up somehow. So will the leaders bother to pit? They're not gonna pit this time, but I probably. I know they will. Oh, Ali Ferrari is coming in. Hirsch is following. Well, yeah, you pretty. They could. Ah. I disagree. Object with... Fundus also pitting. They're all pitting. Why are you pitting? It's a no stop. What? I'm confused. In my opinion. I would have done the opposite of what Hirsch done, but that's just my personal opinion. Because track position seems to be the game on this race at the moment. For, for the strategy for the race. Because, like, look at this. See, so, Clutch Jack has a Of course, due to, due to everyone else pitting, Ali Ferrari maintains the lead. I'm quite surprised that no one no one thought to go... I would have gone that extra to lap. To stay out. I would have gone extra lap before pitting, honestly. Get that extra. That's, that's what RBT has done. Is he going to gain any positions here? He could do. I don't know if it will let him overtake shots. I don't know if he was past the line there. We might have to make a steward's call on that. I suppose if the game is telling him to not give that position back. I don't know. Oh god. Not sure that's, on that one. That's a... Clutch Jack's fuel situation looks to be... These guys are going to save a little bit of fuel. But Clutch... It's going to be good for him. Not really until he catches the back of the field. He's going to go full throttle to catch up. So all the fuel he would save, he's potentially wasting trying to catch back up. To, to be fair, you don't have to try too hard to catch back up. Yeah, but it's wet. still fuel. Very slow. Well, that thing, the thing about though, the wet makes it go through more fuel because the torque required for these corners in the wet. So that's what also you gotta be looking out for. Like these Red Bulls, like the other Red Bulls and everyone, I, for at the moment, I didn't look at everybody. Because I'm trying to wrap myself yep. in a heating blanket because I'm freezing. Swaddle myself. Peach Jack looks as if he he looks as if he's short shifting and uh, <laughs> trying to. Short, although <laughs> maybe taking a bit too much curb on the uh, turn two there, or turn three I should say. It's a bit strange. I've got the track map up now. So apparently the first chicane is turn one. Yeah. Curb Grande. Curva Grande is turn two. Yep, that's fair enough. And the next chicane is technically turn three. The turn four is not until the Lesmos. Damn. Lesmos, should I say? I thought you said Lesbos. I was gonna be like, oh damn, we're really going down this road. Well, Ranonoff has already said it in the chat. Actually, he he just said well, flat out lesbian. I don't know how Twitch reacts. Oh, about that. Someone's in the grass. I think it was object. But I don't know how Twitch reacts like this. It's very sensitive when it comes to it sometimes. I mean. Either way, I don't think we're here to offend. We're not here to defend anybody, but to. Twitch's format is set up in such Unless a... Unless you pass the Maldonado fans, in which case I will offend you. Or twins. JK, JK, we all play these. Well, I, I like you twins. But, I like um, you apparently too. Apparently, Fry Guy's got something against you. I like you too, he's got to clean up your act while racing, man. Like... Well, currently sitting in P6 at the moment, he's do he's not doing badly. He has picked it's not his up racing a I'm criticizing. Him. It's his frequent involvement in wrecks that I criticize him for. You know what I mean? Like he's got speed, but he's too aggressive sometimes. And he throws away his chance at potential podiums. The safety car just went through the fucking wall on my screen. What the hell? That's interesting. Uh, uh, Do you want to say it? <laughs> the safety car is no longer with us. Well, I can see it fine on my screen. It just, just, you know, like exits a scar. He just went straight. <laughs> I, 
Yeah, like, exit, he never turned left. Exit stage right. <laughs> yeah, like, he just went through a concrete wall. Fantastic. But be sure to clip that and uh, oh, wait. submit it. I thought they were going this time, honestly. Oh, yeah, they're still waiting on food check. He's going to have no feel by the end of this whole thing. This he should be. Everybody else oh, should have enough feel to finish, except him, it looks yeah. like. Let's just take a quick swig. I think take a few more of those, honestly. Oh, that is strong. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Klutz Jack's um, had a minor excursion at turn one. Uh, say. He's just adventuring. Don't don't judge him. Yep. Also, his engine's really. It's, he's in he's in a Renault engine, so it's probably cutting out for that reason. But his engine's cutting out. Yep. He's got to hurry up. He's should catch up to him through the second Lesmos so he can see the Red Bull in front of him of Joshua. It's a fair deal. In sim racing, this is a very nice track to hot laps on and learn how to sim race. It's horrible. What do you <laughs> Those mean? Those curbs are horrible. Not, uh, not, it's in, this not, good not in this game. I mean like in like a yeah. setto. The mind. track in general, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good yeah. track. I mean, like I said, of course, are it. like fire racing, not like this game. This game's horrible when it comes to sh curbs and shit. Yeah, and they were new to the game as well. They've 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 actually introduced them part way through this game, which is interesting. Watch. So the safety in the car game. will be in this lap. Yes. Now we'll we're gonna follow Ali Ferrari. the leaders. Is he gonna go right away? And he gunned it. See, if the car's not in those, you can't beat him to the line. Oh no, he's gonna beat him to the pit. He might get penalized. No, no he's lucky. He's fine. The game doesn't technically penalize you, it slows you down. Hirsch is getting hounded here by Object on the restart. It's been a good start from Object. Oh, he can't. Hirsch defends well, although goes over the <laughs> curve. He gets a touch of understeer, uh, oversteer at the exit. Manages to They're get it in the right direction. Fardo and Twins going side by side through Curve Grande. <laughs> that's Fardo twins, that's not line, a smart move. Twins is trying to go around the outside. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's uh, good racing from the both of them. Well, see, so you don't pass around the outside of that corner. Forget about it. <laughs> Especially not in the wet. Yeah. As oh, Twins has gone wide. That's RBT and AG Passy up. And so is Joshua. Going backwards then is Twins. Going wide after the second Lesmos. Yes, indeed. And now it's Ali Ferrari's turn to bolt. Apparently one and a half. Mercedes seconds in front. I'm I'm not that biased. I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, as Monkey Boy Kurt has a look into Not Parabolica. He's gonna play peak in turn one. I'll... Better of him. He's gonna go for it, definitely, it looks like. He's got the run. Turn one. It's like Fardo's letting him have the inside. Well, because in my opinion, you want that outside line because you're away from that gravel, you don't get forced into yep. it. Yep. It's tough, it's tough. Will he show him the outside? That's a great pass from Monkey Boy. Round turn one. We'll really stop and get him pass. to turn four. No, he's too far back. Very As he's side by there, side with RB2. No, it's the two. It's Alpha. the two Alpha oh. Romeos will go on board with RBT as Stoffy goes a little bit over. RBT could get the both of them here into the Lesmos. He's got the drive and he takes them both. And it's a big a mess here as AG Passy up. following through. As they're all taking different lines, trying to get some clean air, it looks like. Except Kasai, he's going to go straight behind him. You don't want to follow his car too closely through here. 
rain looks like it's going to stop soon. Look at the sky. It is getting lighter. The rain often is getting lighter, but the sky is getting lighter. Now that could shake up a lot of things. Would you pay for inters? Would you have enough pace? It's interesting. We'll have to see if some of the puddles start disappearing because Ali Ferrari sets the fastest lap of the race. Object Fundus is still right <sighs> behind her. She's really doing well here. Catching up with its fourth foot in the championship against first at the moment. Of course, the more they fight, the more Ali Ferrari can get away. The gap is up to 2.3 seconds at the moment. Yeah, Further yeah. down the pack, we've got our, uh, Aris Toffee. Stoffy having a go at AG Passi. Letting his Ferrari cousin by. All the Italian teams looking at the bigger picture. Stoffy goes for the move. He's got his front wing in there. That's good racing from the both of oh, them. Oh, he must it too. Joshua nearly had the exit on Stoffy there. Yeah. It's a Ferrari sandwich up there. They're far down the side. Stoffy. Remember yeah, when Fardo Red Bull ran Ferrari getting away a little. Oh boy. RBT started at the back. Finds himself currently in sick. He is closing he in on the boy Kurt. After last week. Yep, of course, DNF last week and uh, following incidents served the quali ban earlier on as Ali Ferrari goes faster. Yeah, these times with a 131. Just gonna get faster and faster as the line, uh, rain lights up here. Although it doesn't look like it's lighting up that much, the sky definitely looks a lot less grey. It does indeed. It's nice for the lighting. RBT so good on the brakes there into turn one. He's closed right up to Monkey Boy there. The gap now down to six tenths. And out of the corner, nearly down to five tenths. Well, Joshua's had an accident through turn one, I think. Is there any damage? Doesn't look like it. Yes, as we go. got away with it. Object has got past Hirsch into second place. First, man, come on. It's actually too caution car around. AG Passy is out. What's happened there? I'm not too sure. Safety it car is like out. That's going to shake up two. everything. Will you pit for inters? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, three. Oh, almost nearly the back of Monkey Boy there. The full course safety car is out. Say was having Second one of the race. Too. Today. Ali Ferrari is not liking that at all. This he was good. starting to pull away. As you see at the moment, he had a 3.8 second gap. He really benefited from Object and Hirsch fighting. Unlucky, AG. Um, I think we've all crashed on the exit of what is, I correct myself, turn three. We've all done it. Yeah, I'm surprised no one actually took enters as a, just to try it. Because I mean, if you're in the back of the pack, you got nothing to lose anyway. Yep, six laps to go. There's still a lot of standing water on track, but there's definitely a drier line. Of course, you've got to go past people. Yes, but you see, this is why we. Oh, we don't have bumpers. Never mind. Yep. Tapes like it's a not NASCAR. <laughs> Rubbing is not racing. I mean, apparently to F1 Nico it was. Yep. But <laughs> the less we talk about that, the better. Rubbing, see, people have two forms of rubbing is racing. But I'm going to wreck your shit, and I'm just going to slightly tap you. Maybe make a little contact, nothing big. So, the context of rubbing is racing is a lot... I feel like it's a lot like more like extreme than what people think it really is like yeah. rut big is racing you give the guy a small shot it's nothing like he's gonna wreck he's just gonna bump him out of the groove whoa twins kicking out the rear end there coming through the first lesmos he's, he's showing off his ass what are you talking about 
And, <laughs> and again through the second. He's using his ERS under safety car. I'm like, I mean, you got to get it back anyway, but still. Yeah, why I, risk it? He's showing off his ass. What's wrong with that? I mean, looks like he's, prostitution's he's legal in some countries. Cool. It is, indeed. Although not for you, because you're too young. Not, yeah, <laughs> even though we have books of other stuff. Yeah. People forget anyway. about that. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. I'm moving on. Uh, AG Passy, no assists is just disappointing sometimes. I I can only imagine I've I've not I've not tried with no assists. I don't think I could really unless I put more time into the game, I don't think I could race with um, with no braking line. I can um, race without braking line if I had a wheel, but not a controller, forget about it. Yeah. Just uh yeah, unfortunate this week, mate. Especially on Monday. Come back for Russia, as Sergeant says. Um, watch, watch your teammate go tomorrow. I guess in the. Uh, By the way, it's a Merc top two. <laughs> I, I mean, as much as you say it, it's not going to make it. <laughs> no, the, the safety car. Ah, oh, Merc one two. Oh, I see. <laughs> I do see what you mean. Yep, that Merc. It looks three. to be holding up, holding up. Ali Ferrari at the moment. Do you want to be a Merc Top 3? We're missing Jim one Merc, original Merc already. So Ali Ferrari's given the safety car the hurry up. He definitely doesn't want to make contact with that safety car. That's not the last thing you want to do. This is where it went through the wall on the right there. That's where he just went straight, literally just went straight into the crowd. As he's not I don't know what's up with your screen. <laughs> is it going? Is it making its way to the? He just uh, picked up like ninety hundred. Like, the safety car just picks up so much more speed out of nowhere, for real. Yeah. This isn't right. smart. In don't pass lap. the safety car. Now, object fungus. Can he get another good? What is he doing? That's not a good idea. He stalled the start. That's a horrible idea. For a shootout. There's. Fardo's dropping backwards. Fungus is going to get a good run through here. If he doesn't get Let's run over. Let's have a look. It's all clean. Someone's up Too the wide. inside. That's not going to end well. And they keep it going. There's been contact. some contact. There's people going all over the place. The Hirsch, RBT is up in third off. place. Hirsch, Hirsch, Hirsch is down in 11th. What's oh, happened? Oh, as Blues Jack oh. makes contact. Oh, Joshua and Hirsch are out. Car. There's a car around. There's a car who shot the corner. Damage. Twins. Twins has damage. Hirsch is out. Joshua is out. Unfortunately, there for Hirsch, it looks like uh, Josh had some contact with Blues Jack in That's front of him. Send him spinning, and virtual? unfortunately, this is. I don't think it's. I think it's just yellows. Local yellows. Two car wreck. So they are still racing. I don't think you can have a safety car so soon after the last. He's had for it though. <laughs> I know it's had for it though. Now Ali Ferrari has managed to keep in first place. Object Fungus just a second behind, but Twin behind six him is time, RBT out of nowhere. By the way, everybody gets points. By Everyone way, does Jack. get points, even Hirsch. Place. Hirsch gets points. But Hirsch Blues also Jack. gets that one singular point. Which could help him. Every point matters. Up before. As Object Fungus, potential for race win here if he can get to the back of Ollie Ferrari. Which is harder said than done. Sector 1 caution, we have another car off. He saved it though, I don't know if I Looks like it was twins. He picks up another three seconds. Yep, yeah, unfort unfortunate tonight, Hirsch. And as Sergeant says, you are still leading the championship unless Klutschak comes out of nowhere and uh, 
takes first place. You drink apple cider? Um, not as much as I used to. I got the. I was drinking out of the cup, and I got all the sediment on the fucking bottom. I just drank that shit. That was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> cinnamon in apple cider. No, the sediment, like the flakes in oh, the bottom. Oh, cinnamon. Like you know how Are it's you not... drinking some rough fucking cider? Yeah, it's it's fresh from the orchard. All oh, right, okay, yeah, it's still pretty. For, fucking remember, rough. I don't know if you all have this in Britain, but we have farmers markets down here everywhere where I live because it's country. It's straight country. Yep. Yeah. I don't know where you live in yeah. Britain, but like you live in not, like the rural area. Not too many farmers markets around here. A lot of it's all superstores and Yeah. Sorry, but the supermarkets as we call them, you call them superstores, I guess. I just call them Walmart. What? It's only a big Walmart. store really where... <laughs> Hey, I don't get Walmart. Where... I don't get where all these American accents come from. A lot like America, like a north I speak with a northeastern accent. But like, there's different accents per like a southern accent, northeastern. Well, everyone knows the southern ac uh, accent, though, don't they? Yeah. Because whenever they say mimic an American, they do a southern accent. Yeah, like, it's it's a lot different. Like, there's different accents for Americans. Like, it's not all one thing like people think. Like, you got I the... mean, that's, it's, it's not a surprise. It isn't. Hell, in Alaska, they don't speak at all. Do, do you have any idea how many accents uh, the UK has? <laughs> yeah, we got Welsh. We are smaller than Florida. Yeah. You have Welsh, Scottish, Irish, British, maybe some Danish. I don't know. You guys the have... accents. Here. So we've got we've got a southern accent, which I suppose covers most of the most of the south. Um, you can have a sort of a proper co Cockney lad accent, <laughs> um, as yep, Rananoff says, Cockney lad. Um, <laughs> South, there's a South London accent. Jeez, I'm not very bloody up on it. You have different. Oh, uh, Sergeant okay, Randolph has never left London. This is. <laughs> we have paid now attention. Now you're just naming no, parts of London. Paid, it's, it's the second to the last lab. You gotta watch the battles real quick. Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> 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 uh, by the way, the, thanks the battle for bringing for me back into on. the world. Ali Ferrari, look how much he's gonna get this race in unless he bins it, like the Mercedes he's in. Ooh. If RBT catches up close enough, we might have a go into turn one and we could see a Red Bull flying. Give him wings! Lick the post in center. Yep. He now, can the he get past Object Fungus? Down in is the question. One. I'm waiting to use that quote now. Hopefully, RBT gives me some. Oh wait, we have a far Fardo in the shots are off the battle. A monkey boy. Yeah, half a second between them. Still something. Though. Four temps. As Project and a half Fungus temps losing going more time. Ascari. The gap to Ali Ferrari now four seconds. Cool. We're gonna hit the white flag here at Monza. Coming down to the final straw here, and we are gonna hit the white flag right about now. Now this is gonna be interesting. They're right. They're gonna get close to each other here. Not, not really. Over hyped it. Like, looks like object game time at that last corner. Oh, shots though. Shots on the back of Monkey Boy. Oh, Turn one, last lap. Breaks. breaks late. Leaves the room. Nice battle. He's gonna squeeze Monkey him. Boy is still on the outside. He's These two Williams him. lads are going for it. And he gets it! Gets the job done! As also, Fungus has slow RBT's caught Fungus. Six tenths the gap between them now coming Monkey through Boy's Lesmos. Monkey Boy's Good. A shot spins! Oh. He saved it, but he's lost all chances. He's got to defend it from Staffy now. The spot as RBT cannot get close up the fungus. Yeah, it doesn't Ferrari look like he's going to have the and pace running away with it. Coming into Ascari. And more insult or injury. Eighth place with three second time penalty. Eighth place in eighth place. Stroke. As. Okay. Now we could see RBT literally send it. 
Nope. Object just has to get this last corner right. It looks like he yeah, has. Valley Ferrari is going to win it here. He's... That's a win two weeks in a row for the Mercedes of Ali Ferrari. Second place comes Object Fungus, followed by a great third position for RBT from the back of the grid. Here, it's an outstanding performance from him tonight. I'll show the results, but after that I'm going to have to go early. Sorry to leave you interviews by yourself, David. No worries, man. <laughs> I have to hit the rack. I have not gotten any sleep yep. in the past two days. That's good, bud. Hope you're feeling better soon. Yeah, but uh, we got a suite on the podium. Well, hell yeah. Yep. Not entirely convinced he's Swedish. <laughs> is that Italian? Too? No, it's not. He is oh, no, it's... from... If I see his username. UAE? I don't know what flag that is. That is the Swedish flag, though. Swedish? Oh, it is an Italian. Yeah, it's a, it is an Italian flag. We have an Italian, a Swede, and a UAE member, I think. Uh, RBT, Hungarian. Yes. Alright, let's... Two Brits let's missing on the invite... podium. Invite... This is the first time in a while we've had a non-British podium. Just like real life. Oh, you're so funny! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Wanna... Flipping jow. The British driver's gonna... Gonna win it again this season though. That's fine. If Max wins the championship, I'll be happy. Oh no, I just don't want to sure see Merc. I don't want to see a Merc in the... If it's Bottas, I don't mind. But like, I don't know. Like, I have nothing against Hamilton. Just... Oh. Indeed, you can indeed. literally, you can literally predict the beginning of the season. That's how bad it is. <laughs> you can pretty much say Lewis Hamilton's gonna win the title. Imagine how sports that's betting is. That's not fair. Yeah. So. Well, I'll see you. Yep. Welcome to the party to our podium. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Drivers, please make sure to include your audio in the stream. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Now, bear with me a second. Um, unfortunately, Fry Guy had to leave us a little bit early tonight. Um, so just me on the interviews. So go easy on me, chaps. So, third place, RBT. <laughs> so, so, I have to say, there's nothing more to say other than that was a great result coming from the back of the field um obviously missing out on qualifying this week how how do you think um were you surprised by the wet when you did join uh it was a really enjoyable race to 15th to fir uh, third uh, is great uh, i was pretty lucky today because i have uh, uh no uh, accident on the race so uh, that's why I could be in the podium I uh, want to be in the top five before the race so it's a great result it, it's it, that's a bit of an understatement really really fantastic driving today did you ever feel like you could um, maybe a, a last minute safety car do you, do you think you could have uh, you could have taken the win today uh, no, no, n not because uh, the first uh, three guys uh, was pretty fast, so I, I couldn't catch them. But uh, Hirsch has a Hirsch and Monkey Boy. I, I don't know who uh, has a incident after the restart. That's why I could go going up to P3, but Fungus. Uh, uh, defend very well and Ali was just too fast yep um, so regardless it's a it's a great result today for you um, especially after last race um, that is third place your third place podium sitter RBT 
thanks for joining us and we will move on to second place uh, object fungus you showed some real pace today D did you did you feel like uh, the conditions helped you well I don't think that the conditions help me because uh, Monza is my favorite track so I think I drove around poo more than a thousand laps in, on this track easily and um, I think from the thousand laps I only drove 30 in the wet so it was like pretty new to me uh, to drive Monza in the wet in the wet but um, well uh, firstly GG to Ali Ferrari <laughs> uh, yeah well he was damn fast I tried to follow him but it didn't work out at the end but second place what uh, was yeah a good position for me yep and you 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 did you showed like you really knew the circuit today um the uh, it, it was definitely a strong race from you I'd, I'd imagine what you probably wouldn't want to see going by uh, recent races is um the speedy guy rbt closing up behind you we we did see some great defending from from you um of course the best part of defense that you you made was managing to keep the distance um was it something you were aware of when you were going around rbt behind you yeah uh when i saw rbt i was like oh no not this guy because i know he's damn fast uh, so i just tried to keep it clean and stay on the track so i knew because of my pace he couldn't get past so that was my tactic Yep, uh, and that is uh, that is again a brilliant race from yourself. Um, second place, congratulations uh, to you, Object Fungus. Now on to the winner, two weeks in a row, um, Ali Ferrari. Congratulations. No, thank you. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> oh, it was. Um, it was a tough tough one today um did you did you do a lot of practice in the wet i actually did not do any practice in the wet but what actually helped me was that before the race i was looking at the weather and then i saw that the race is going to be rainy so i went for an unusual aero setup which was seven at the front and ten at the back which is too much for monza but somehow it worked out that also made overtaking Hirsch very difficult. I think I wouldn't have done it if the uh, curbs uh, at uh, you know turn three, turn four, if they didn't screw him up, I wouldn't have got gotten past. Um, yeah, as you could probably see, I was a lot slower on the straights, even with slipstream and overtaking mode. I was slower than Hirsch, but yeah, I, I made it back in the corners. Yeah, that, that was something uh, that was quite obvious to see. We, we followed you when you were just behind Hirsch a couple of times, and yeah, you, you could see that he just had much more straight line speed. Um, fortunately, you did manage to um, get past him, and actually, rather unfortunately, Hirsch um, had a, a bit of an incident later on in the race. Um, so on, on the subject of those curbs... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to ask you if you're a fan of them because no one's really a fan of them. But how did how, how did you feel your car was with those curbs this week? They to me they seem really harsh. Um, what what about yourself? Are you um are you happy that the curbs are like that, or to be honest, would you prefer them to go back? Uh, to be honest, I'm happy with the changes because it's not like I don't like it when uh, people use these curbs to cut the uh, and yeah, just make it a bit more normal, just like real life. Nobody cuts these curbs anyways in real life, so yeah, I'm happy with these changes. And uh, about the question, how did my car feel over the curbs? Um, I, I don't know because I didn't even touch them. Maybe sometimes, but uh, yeah, I didn't 
fly because it was only my tire really. Yep, that's that's fair enough. It's just just a testament to the sort of control that you showed tonight. Um, picking up the second win in a row that will no doubt push you up the uh, championship ladder. Um, closing in on, of course, Hirsch, who, who uh, only picks up a solitary point tonight after the DNF. Now, I asked you last week. Do you think you can? Uh, do you think you can? You can push more for a title challenge. Um, I think uh, I'm predicting that the uh, by the end of the season, the title is going to be between me, Hirsch, and RBT, and AG Passy as well if he manages to uh, get some good results without the races screwing him up. And uh, Object Fungus and Kluchak are, are also up there, so. Yeah, I'm predicting that it will be very close between us five. As Sergeant confirms in the chat, that, that win does put you up to second in the championship. Of course, picking up a bonus point today, I believe, for the fastest lap. Um, but sec second win in a row. Congratulations to you, Ali Ferrari. Yeah, thanks a lot. And congratulations to all the podium finishers this week. Uh, thank you very much. I have been David Lowface. This has been Fair Play Racing League. Join us again tomorrow for Division 2, hosted by um, RSF1 Raikkonen, where you can watch yours truly race in what is promising to be an exciting one. So thank you very much. Don't forget, tune in tomorrow. If you like what you see, think you want to have a go, there's a link to the Discord that Nightbot has been putting in the chat. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on Twitch if you want, and on YouTube. You can find us in our Twitch bio, I believe. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.